good morning you guys what is up welcome back to my channel welcome to a new vlog welcome to a little I'm not sure if it's just gonna be one day at home or two days at home uh, kind of just depends how much I vlog today if this vlog goes up tomorrow or Thursday but happy Tuesday it is my day off and we have so much to do around the house it's about eight o'clock right now around seven to just like really make sure that I took time for myself this morning and it's kind of hard because like on my days off I want to like recharge and have me time but then I also just have so much we have so much to do around the house right now and it's a really busy house week so trying to find that balance and if I start my day off slow and just kind of take some time for me and then also in the afternoon I feel pretty good so anyways we have such a busy week this week today is Tuesday uh we're going to see Noah Khan tonight which I'm so excited about I've mentioned it like a few times before but I have been a Noah Khan stand since like 2019 false confidence days like before he was big like I have been a fan for years and I am so excited to go see him he has been such a pivotal songwriter and singer in my life and just like depression and normalizing medication and him Zach and Kelsey are just like really up there for me as if we're on a first name basis so I'm really 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 excited I surprised Matt last night I've had the tickets for months but then um the other day we um the Universal Girls uh offered us tickets to no con so I actually I wanted to spread some good karma and we all know that like ticket prices are just so expensive these days and especially no con Zach Bryan like all these shows that are selling out so I actually took like almost a complete loss on my tickets and I ended up selling them for like really dirt cheap they were really good seats too in the hundred level I ended up selling my ticket but at a super super cheap uh, price so that someone who maybe couldn't afford like the resale tickets could go because uh, originally I was just gonna be like oh no 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 like I don't need the tickets like I already have some and then they were like well you can sell your tickets and so I wanted to kind of give someone the opportunity to go who maybe otherwise couldn't afford it and whoever stumbled across those tickets on StubHub got a sick deal so yeah anyways it took pretty much a complete loss on it but I bought the tickets so long ago that like it's fine. Uh, so whoever bought my tickets, I hope they enjoy the show tonight. Okay, let's go in chronological order of everything going on this week. So we have no con tonight. Our credenza also comes today, but I just don't think we're going to have the time to build it. We also have a like, um, f like a friend's husband. Like I went to high school with her and then she works at the hospital with me. Like, a, like I don't know, like acquaintance, I guess. And uh, anyways, we need someone to redo our door frame and our patio door in the back because uh, that was something we knew going into the house, but the frame's rotten and uh, wasn't installed properly like everything else in this house. So we need to do that. And we figured if we got maybe like, um, you know, like a friend of a friend or like a contractor to do it, not a huge company, we'd probably save a little bit of money. And honestly, I have to say like when you get someone that's like a local contractor to do it, I've been more impressed with that work than like some of the big companies out there, like that huge company that ghosted us for the bathroom. So anyway, so he's coming after work around five to look at that and he probably won't be here too long. Then we're going to no con. Then tomorrow I am working um eight to two and then I'm heading into the city for a hair appointment so then like kind of tomorrow evening is kind of a bit of a write-off which I'm so excited to get my hair done though and then Thursday we don't have anything going on so I'm going to kind of work on the bathroom for Toronto on Sunday so yeah it's going to be a busy busy week around here but honestly my main focus is just to get the bathroom done so that's kind of what we're going to be spending a lot of time on today I decided last night kind of spontaneously to paint the flooring on the back wall because you can obviously paint anything as long as you sand it and prime it properly and I don't know if I've really mentioned this when we started doing this bathroom makeover but we plan on gutting this bathroom I mean like everything in this house eventually because we need we will probably in the next like 10 years rebuild all the floor up and stuff so that the house can last longer right like it's a hundred year old house the foundation's in good condition but we want to have a structural engineer come out and just kind of preemptively do some work and rebuild the floor up so uh, we will be like gutting this room in the next few years but I've mentioned this before that sometimes spending a couple hundred dollars to kind of like give a room a facelift or a little bit of a makeover can just kind of help hold you off for a little bit so the flooring and stuff will come off then but I figured for now I would like try and paint it and see how it goes because why not like why not uh can't be any worse than having a random wall of flooring I'm just like so curious like did they run out of shiplap and just like not decide to buy more I just yeah I don't know but I figured if I can paint 
the flooring the same color as the wall because it's all going to be Bear's Bit of Sugar, uh, which is a really nice white. You don't really have any dark brown wood in the bathroom, so it just kind of stands out like a bit of a sore thumb. But anyways, I've got my painting clothes on and we're going to get after it. And my goal for today is to balance getting shit done around the house with having me time as well. It's a really nice day, so I'm assuming we'll take lots of walks. I did legs yesterday, so today's my day off. And yeah, but welcome to a little day at home. First update is we actually got a new shower head. Uh, we needed something that I think I mentioned this that kind of goes straight over and down because ours was like an angled one. And because there's because there's a gap between the tub and the wall and it's obviously not like a normal shower where it doesn't matter we just didn't want to have any water damage back here so we changed that out it does really irk me that our rod is not the same color as the shower but it's not the end of the world i'm sure we can change it eventually it's just like not worth the 80 dollars to spend on a new curtain rod when this one works perfectly fine so we did replace that and we can also take down this weird <laughs> macgyvered shower liner today because now ours before I don't really know how to explain it but the way it came in like on an angle we could only have one liner and we had to like cut holes in it but now um since it doesn't go over we can have two shower liners so i think it'll look a lot cleaner and nicer too so that's my plan for today as well is to put up the new shower curtain but yeah our new little shower is there it's really great but if you didn't know i don't feel like i've really ever showed this part of the bathroom but we have a window here and there's just like random flooring here so i figured why not just paint it white honestly i'm gonna prime it with some bin primer which is like what i use on the cabinets but i figured we could try and paint it because like what's the worst that's gonna happen you know so i sanded it down gave it a little rough sand with the orbital sander i don't know if i'll get to painting these walls today because i want to prime this wall but anyways that's kind of the plan and otherwise i don't really have any other updates in here besides the fact that i am in love with this stunning flooring Primer is on. I have like one and a half coats. I don't know if it's just my primer, but it's super thin. Also, my first time using bin primer, so I'm not sure if it just is like a thinner primer. It's primed and ready to go. And now I'm having some second thoughts. And I said, wait. So my original thought was to paint it the same white as this. So it was like all the same. But then I realized I have leftover blue paint from the vanity. I have leftover that's this blue gray color here. Make this wall like a blue gray accent wall, maybe. Uh, we get a ton of light in here already so it doesn't matter and it was already a dark wood before so the idea came to me what if we did like an accent wall so i'm trying to decide on that Hi, hello, world's worst vlogger today, it's 3.30. I don't know why I do this to myself, I vlog on days where I know I'm gonna be spending the whole day doing home projects, but um, I'm finished painting for now. I'll run you guys through kind of like what's left. This was gonna be like a very home vlog, hobbies, it might just become some days in my life because tomorrow I'm working and then after work I have my hair appointment and then I wanna run errands in the evening. And tonight we have the concert. So I might just turn into some some days in my life. The best it did get delivered today, which is great. Matt's working from home tomorrow. So um, if he's like bored and wants to do something on like his lunch break, he can put that together because we all know Matt loves to put Ikea furniture together. Got shower hooks, but they sent me the wrong color. So I have to send them back and order the right ones. Honestly, the bathroom took me longer than I thought to paint it because... Obviously I had to like maneuver around the toilet, maneuver around the tub. I couldn't move the vanity because the bolts on the back of it were stripped. 
so I couldn't move it like it's it's cemented or cemented it's like screwed to the wall as it should be but whoever put it in like the bolts are stripped so I couldn't take them out which was frustrating and then I ran out of painter's tape so it just took me so much longer because I was like really trying to like cut super super well and then you guys will see when I show you guys at some point I just gave up because I was like I can just always go back over it like the navy-ish wall I did decide to just go for it and try the dark blue wall and I honestly kind of love it we get a ton of natural light in that bathroom so I think it's gonna look really really nice and if it doesn't I can always paint it back white but I'm trying to just kind of like go with my gut more with this house I feel like in the condo we just like played everything safe with like white and black and so I was like, let's just like do something fun. So it took me a lot longer than I thought. And now I'm feeling a little bit stressed out, but it's all going to be good. We're going to have a really fun night tonight. And we have still the whole day Thursday, like besides work and then a whole day Friday. Like I can submit the content end of day Friday. So I have time and I'm just taking a deep breath about it. But I'll share with you guys what the bathroom looks like and then kind of like what we have left to do. I also just rub and buffed the light switches, but I don't love the way that they came out. So I'm like, I shouldn't have done that. But in terms of like what we have left to do that I can think of, baseboards, Matt needs to do that because we have a very finicky nail gun and I'm terrified to use it. But baseboards are easy. Like they're already cut, they're ready to go. Just, you know, nail them to the wall, they're already painted. I'll need to touch up the trim uh for all the doors and windows just with like doing that navy wall now which did i say that i already decided to do that i decided to just go for it because literally why not um i feel like in the condo we played everything so safe like white and black because we knew we we're gonna stay there long term and this house it's been so fun to just like do things because i always tell myself like the worst that happens is i have to paint it back and it would be a pain but like why not just try it and since we have a white shower curtain i think it's gonna look so good and we already get so much natural light in the bathroom anyways so I want to just touch up the spots because I ran out of painter's tape. So I just was getting really sloppy towards the end. I was like, I just need this done. So just touch up all the trim and stuff like that. Oh, like hang the shower curtain, put down the bath mat, etc. But those are all kind of like easy things. I do have a home sense haul to give you guys. I might do that tomorrow though, or maybe today. I'm not too sure, but I have like a little bath haul, but I need to swing by tomorrow and get some shower hooks because the Amazon ones won't come in time. Maybe I'll wait because in case I get something else tomorrow, I can show you guys. But anyways, I'm gonna take you guys upstairs. I will share the updates with you. I'll do it on my phone though, because it's better at grabbing kind of like the backlit from the window. But I'm pooped, honestly. I always forget too how much like painting is a workout. Like I've already closed my loops. It's kind of crazy. And I haven't even like, I've been for one walk today. So feeling good. My legs are so sore from going to the gym though yesterday. I did a really good leg day. I feel like I'm in a progressive overload era and I'm really trying to get a, a donk a donk, you know? My wedding dress in the next like year and a bit. I'm trying to have a badonk a donk. So <laughs> I have like literally the smallest butt in the world, but a girl can dream. Okay, you guys, I just got ready. I feel like every time we like are going out or doing something, which isn't very often, we're always in a rush. So it feels weird that I'm like dressed and ready early and I can actually update the vlog. Uh, yes, the mirror is very dirty. I know, I know. But I just got ready. I'm just doing a little jean jacket moment. This is from Reitman's with my Halara like tennis skirt. Just be comfy, but also just be comfy, but also cute. Got some little earrings in, curled my hair. And I figured while we were in the bathroom, I could share a little update with you guys because I didn't show you the navy wall earlier. I do just want to say it definitely needs a little touch up. Um, I have to go over the trim with like white paint, but so, so good. And this is the time of day we get the most light. So I feel like it's a good indication of how bright it still is in here. Sign from the coffee bar for now, just have a piece of art there. But look how nice it is. Like I said, it's a little sloppy. I have to kind of clean up the edges tomorrow but I actually love it and Matt made a good point that it looks a lot less like flooring now and it just kind of looks like a paneled wall so I really love the way that turned out and I think it's gonna look so good when I put the shower curtain up tomorrow um because we just have like a nice white textured shower curtain so anyways I'm really really excited so I wanted to share that update with you guys I showed you guys earlier but this is the baseboard I ended up getting I'm not gonna lie I just picked it because it was the shortest one and I didn't want to have to get them cut down to fit in the car. So yeah, I wanted to go for something a bit more plain. I love very detailed trim and baseboard, but because we already have the shiplap, I feel like it would have been too much. So I kind of just went for the most plain one I could find. And the baseboard before was four inches. So I wanted to kind of stick with something similar so we didn't have to cut it down. This plain baseboard won't draw too much attention to it because I really want the detail to be on the tile. And yes, I need to vacuum up here.
girl. Wow. That's a big one. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Oh. Oh, we're holding on to mom. You want some belly rubs? <laughs> Okay, you guys, I was supposed to water my plants yesterday, but I didn't get around to it, so I'm doing it today, and this is why I have low maintenance plants. As a beginner plant person, this is what I've been doing. Is there probably a better way to do it? Maybe. I feel like there's maybe different ways to do it, but the plants have all been living and thriving, so I think I'm doing something right. Um, I wait until all of them are like bone dry in the soil, so like I'll go around the house and just kind of like touch the soil and see if it's like bone dry and if it is that's how I know I'm ready to water them because I mainly have phyllos, pothos and then I have a few ivies but the ivies we keep in the bathroom to kind of suck up the moisture from the shower since we don't have a fan uh, so those ones I don't have to water too too much but yeah it's not really often that they all need to be watered at the same time it just kind of worked out that way that I think I don't know a few of them just I would love for all of our plants to be in like the draining pots but obviously some of them aren't because i've thrifted pots so when they're in like just a normal pot like this um, i just leave them in their nursery pot because these have holes underneath to uh water them but i have these trays from amazon but you can also use glass ashtrays like you can thrift them and use those as well um, i just put these on the bottom so that it kind of gets any extra water they come in different sizes too and i like the big ones because i can fit around three small plants in there and i'll just kind of Put a few on there together this is i think one of our newer ivies because he's not very he's not very big yet i don't know if i have any small guys left oh i do i have this one okay and then these are all no, these are very big i've learned that the most important rule is to not overwater, and overwatering doesn't mean giving them too much water it means watering them too frequently so when i was at the like plant store um the girl told me that it's better to let them get bone dry than to overwater them so yeah it kind of goes against like what we know or i feel like what i thought i knew i thought i had to be watering them like every day but they definitely do best if you don't and honestly i haven't killed any yet i killed one that's because i left it in my car overnight when it was winter i'm a very beginner plant person and i've killed every plant we've ever had before like all of these so if i can do it you can do it i think the key is to just stick to low maintenance plants so anyways this was on my to-do list to do so now we're getting to that you can also put them in your sink and let the water kind of like shower over them too um, we just have a pretty small sink so Hopefully you guys can hear me now. I just recorded a whole clip and I was in the wrong setting. I haven't used this camera yet. First of all, happy Wednesday. Hi, I just pulled up to my hair appointment. I'm a few minutes early. Um, I stopped, like I finished work a few hours early today so I could go get my hair done. Uh, there's something about like daylight savings though that I'm like, I can leave the house at like 2, 3 p.m. and go all night. When it's dark out at 4, I don't want to do that. So um, yeah, but hopefully you guys can hear me now. My, my audio says you can't, so that's great. Also, I'm sorry the steering wheel's in the way. I don't really have anywhere else to put you guys. Like, I don't have a book or anything. Uh, what else was I saying? I don't even know. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, my first time using this camera. So, for years I filmed on the Canon G7X, and I liked it, but I really wanted to try a Sony out. Um, I got the Sony ZV-10, which is, like, a comparable size to the Canon M50, so it's pretty honking big. I love it for at home. But I wanted something that I could bring on the go that was like portable and I could not like throw around, but it was just not super, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I don't know, this camera's like plastic, which sounds bad, but I love it because I can kind of rough it up a little and like with travel and stuff, it, if it gets scuffed up, that's okay. Um, so anyways, yeah, I have the Sony ZV-10 and then for traveling and stuff, I have the Sony ZV-1F, which is a little bit more affordable than the Sony ZV-1, but I actually kind of like that and apparently it doesn't overheat as much. Uh, that's what I'm on right now, but I actually, like, I mean, I haven't really left the house too, too much in the last, like, I got it maybe in, f I actually think I got it at the end of February because I realized the Sony ZV-10 was just gonna be, like, way too big for me to carry around. So, yeah, it's my first time using it. I have the mic on it. 
And since it's Sony to Sony, the quality should be pretty similar to my Sony ZV-10, but it's just like really nice and small and lightweight. Here, I'll, I'll take like a little clip and show you guys like what it looks like um, that I'm like recording on so you guys can kind of, you guys can see how small it is, but don't look at how dirty my windshield is. I can't believe I recorded that whole clip and it didn't even have any sound. Good thing I noticed now before I got home, it literally was like flashing no mic and I was like not paying attention. Really fine, you know, we have busy productive weeks and that is what it is. There's a lady coming out with her dog and she's probably like, what are you doing parked on the street and talking to a camera? Matt is obviously working from home because I have my car. He just called me to say that they think his car is going to be ready Friday. They're putting it back together now. There's no more parts that are needed, which is amazing news. So really happy about that. But um, since he doesn't have a car, now he knows how I feel. He said he was going to put together the credenza for me and I think he was ripping up the countertop because our new countertops come Friday and then maybe he was gonna put the oh he's gonna put the baseboards up in the bathroom for me so that's what he was in charge of today I love filming these like realistic productive days like showing that you can you know you can get shit done you're gonna have weeks where you're busy like you can't avoid that but also like take time to slow down and have fun and go to concerts and do all that stuff so Anyways, I um, am going to head into my hair appointment. Yeah, and then also just like my money piece is so grown out. So we're gonna go get that fixed. And then I have to run some returns to UPS because we don't have a UPS in town. And then I have to go to HomeSense, pick up a few things from the bathroom. So we'll do a little HomeSense haul tomorrow. We'll maybe like put the credenza, organize that and whatnot. And I'm gonna edit this vlog tonight. That way I can like film tomorrow, edit it on my lunch break and then get it up for you guys tomorrow. We'll have a fun few chatty productive days together. I'm gonna go into my hair appointment now. I have my laptop and my Kindle because usually when my like foils are like baking or whatever they do, um, since it's in her house, um, Erin usually goes upstairs so I can do some work. But let's go get my hair done. Truly been looking forward to this moment since I left the house. I'm gonna put some face masks down. You ready? You got the camera ready? guys good morning hello happy thursday i figured i'd vlog a little bit before work today and then i will get this video up this afternoon it's already edited until now so it'll take me like you know 20 minutes to plug in these clips and then get it uploaded the thumbnails done and everything so i should be able to get it up by like early afternoon because once it's exported, I don't have to do anything. I just hit the upload button to YouTube and it does its thing. So I can do that while I'm working. I ended up vlogging a ton after my hair appointment yesterday because I was just kind of frantic in a rush to get a ton of errands done or as many as I could <clears throat> in the like hour and a half window I had because then I also had the you know 55 minute drive home and I wanted to be home for dinner. But I literally ended up just going to home sense to pick up a few things which i'll share with you guys and then walmart which they didn't even have half the things i needed and i ran a ton of returns back to ups and um we only have like a canada post like we have a post office here which is most of the amazon returns but sometimes if it's like a third party seller it goes back to ups so i had a ton and not a ton it's just like i had things that accumulated over like the last like you know i'd say like probably six weeks like here and there kind of purchases especially for the bathroom but i always get asked when i go to the hair salon like what i ask for so this is my hair i don't really know how to show you guys um it looks a lot shorter but i think it's just the way she does like the blowout but this is what my hair looks like and i've been with my hairstylist for eight years now which is kind of crazy and when i go get my hair done 
I just asked to be like a very lived in low maintenance blonde. My natural hair is like a dirty blonde and I did get a few more highlights just with it being summer. I feel like I'm my most confident self when I'm blonde, honestly, it just, it is what it is. I get a reverse balayage, I believe. And then I go for like more of like a honey blonde, honey caramel, like not like white blonde. And I get a skinny money piece and I get like some face framing layers. Um, but that's what I asked for when I go. But now we just like, we just get each other, you know? And so that's what I got. I planned for today or this morning, like before this vlog ends off, I want to, I, I don't think organize the credenza is the right word. Cause I feel like with new furniture, you kind of have to live in the space for a bit to know where you want, or like live with the new piece of furniture in that space to like kind of know where you want it. I'm not sure if we want to use it for like hosting stuff or like, uh, DIY supplies like sand blocks like rub and buff paint I don't really know what we're gonna put in here yet but for now I'm just gonna put everything that's kind of on the floor on there and obviously we need to like style it and figure out what to do with it I also just want to go take the stuff that we got at home since like the shower curtain and put that up in the bathroom Matt did some stuff around the kitchen which I'll share with you guys we actually tore out a cabinet our island like kind of was like a weird like L shape and when they came to measure our countertop we both decided that we weren't gonna we were gonna take the L shape part of the cabinet out you'll understand what I'm saying in a sec when I show you guys but uh so he tore that cabinet out and there's actually a really funky laminate under because he had to tear the flooring out too in that spot because they didn't put the cabinets on the flooring which I mean I guess it's not wrong, but if you, I feel like you would put all your flooring down and then put your cabinets on top. That way, if someone takes out the cabinet, they don't have to replace the flooring and we don't have this flooring and we don't know what it is. So and then he popped the countertops off because obviously we'll need them like tonight to cook dinner. So he just kind of like popped them off of the hooks. That way tomorrow when the countertop people come, they can just take them off. And I'm gonna start a new vlog for tomorrow, I think. And we're gonna go to the flea market on Saturday. So I thought we could do some like rainy spring days because the weather is not looking to be nice. We have an hour. I'm gonna try and get as much done as I can because it's raining all morning and then it's gonna be nice all afternoon and evening. So I'd rather kind of get my like last of my to-dos done now and then spend the afternoon and evening just like relaxing. So let's share some updates with you guys. Here is the credenza. Don't mind the actual disaster that is over there, but I'm really, really happy with it. The router is going to go in here or on the side. I have no idea, but we ended up going with the three piece one, but freaking Ikea, man, I thought it was gonna be like a whole smooth piece, but it's just like a double and a single. And this just like irks me so much that you can see the seam. I think if we had done any bigger, because I was saying to Matt, maybe we could get a fourth one and add it on. I think if we did any bigger, it would kind of clog the space up. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you think we should add another, just like one piece on here and then center it. But I think this is a good size because it gives us room to have, you know, like a lamp in the corner or maybe a tall tree or plant or something. I think I'm leaning towards a lamp. And obviously we're gonna have to like decorate it and all that stuff. But now that it's up, I'm like, do I want floating shelves here or just a piece of art? I don't know, but that's the first update. And this is what I was talking about in the kitchen. So if you guys remember, we had a cabinet here as well, like literally where this flooring is. And we just decided to cut it out. It was like a nice cabinet because it could fit our really tall appliances like the Ninja Creamy, but it just wasn't like, I don't know, long-term we wouldn't have that. So we just took it out and now I gotta, well, I already had to touch up all of this baseboard or what do you call this? Shiplap, a beadboard. So we're gonna have to, give her a fresh paint. Uh, we have to figure out what we're gonna do because we don't have any flooring for this spot. So I was kind of thinking of honestly, just finding a really similar flooring and putting it down here and then putting down like a runner rug here. Matt also thought we could maybe put a, um, we could put a, uh, a tree or something here, like a fake tree or a big plant, because this will have like, we're gonna put the backboard on this. We, we have a piece that we can put here. And so um, this is gonna be like covered, same color. Well, not blue, we're not keeping it blue, but you know what I mean? Like it'll be a smooth thing. Just take this and put that there. But I'm trying to decide, I think I'm just gonna take some of the flooring we have upstairs, put it down and then put a runner here so that it covers it and you can't tell. I think that's kind of my best bet, but he tore that out yesterday. And then yeah, these countertops are just kind of like, they're just chilling on top. They're not like secured or anything. So those are kind of the updates. Um, but here's my little home sense haul because I'm gonna go put the stuff upstairs, not crazy exciting. Uh, you guys saw in the clip yesterday, I picked up some shower hooks and shower liners, but they're already up in the bathroom because Matt needed to take a shower. 
but I also picked up a new shower curtain. I just got this nice like white, it's like a white waffle knit. I'm really glad I went with white um, because we did that fun blue accent wall. I feel like the white will just kind of help it really pop. And I wanted something that was kind of clean. Oh, now I'm realizing it's like a funky design. It's not plain. I might return this. I didn't even like look at that. It was like, it's like scalloped almost. Mm. I don't love that, but we'll try it and just see what we think. I got a toilet brush cleaner. It's so fun and exciting. Grabbed a new little soap brush. This is such a adulting haul. Whoa, it just got so dark in here. I feel like it just started to like pour rain. Um, but I really like these to scrub the like sinks and the bathtub i just feel like it's way easier to do it with this than to like scrub i don't know i feel like it doesn't really work well with like a um, microfiber cloth you guys look how cute these are they're little gardening gloves and i'm trying to well i am in my plant era and i'm like ready to garden but i have to wait because the last frost here is may 10th or something so anyways i got my gardening gloves because i'm like ready my next project is the front porch and i'm just like ready to be in my flower era I picked up a bath mat i tried to get one that was pretty similar color to the vanity because i just thought the pop of blue would be nice and the white ones just get so dirty so fast and so scummy i feel like we throw them out like every six months so i thought maybe doing a blue one would tie in to the vanity and stuff so we can put that down this soap just smells so good it smells like men's cologne which like i love that smell so this is what it looks like if you're like looking forward to the store it smells so good and i just got this little like bamboo soap holder to put it on but anyways that's the home sense haul Obviously we need to kind of like decorate this a little bit, but I'm always so impressed with how much you can fit into these best of storage units. They're truly the best. So it's nice to have a spot for kind of like all of our hosting things slash just like miscellaneous candles, vases. So here we just have placemats and tablecloths. And then I just have some of our hosting plates, like paper plates, plastic, this little, this is actually from Value Village. I literally just got this the other day. It's like the perfect little wicker basket for either like tissues or napkins. I have this little serving thing we use for like buns and croissants. I have some napkins and then these are just some cake pans, but they fit our cutlery perfectly. So I have that and then I just have vases and candles in here and nothing down there. I want to keep it empty until we have kind of stuff to put in it. And then this one is also empty. So truly so much storage, which is fantastic. Really, 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 really happy with how this turned out. And I can't wait to style it. All right, you guys, here's kind of the most ready the bathroom is going to be until i finish it up after work today so i'll give you guys a little sneak peek i think it looks so good i really am now wishing i had painted the tub black um this part of the tub i still might honestly but i really wish i had painted the tub black i think that would look so cool i to paint those little white or wood pieces i'm just trying to decide if i want to paint them gold or white i think i might just do gold so that they kind of fit in with the uh, tub legs but here's kind of an overview. I'm really happy with the bath mat. So love that. I wish I had done like a runner in here, but the issue is most runners are kind of like a ruggy, vintage, very busy design and we wanted to keep it simple. So 
we got the bath mat and everything looks so good i'm still trying to figure out what i want to do here um i'm gonna get matt to caulk this one piece of siding that's really sticking out tonight to see if that helps because i think when you walk in it's like the first thing that you see is this like all these kind of gaping holes here so yeah regardless if we had painted this navy or white we still have to have the lights on in here during the day because we get afternoon light in here it's just like a very dark spot in the morning so it doesn't really matter i'm really wishing i had painted this freaking tub should i do it you guys i really want to do it i really want to go for it it would be really easy too who knows maybe i will um but yeah i have to kind of touch up all of these marks I made after work so I'm gonna do that and then the bathroom is pretty much yeah really happy with how it came out honestly it feels like it's just a totally new space but that's the bathroom and I'm so happy with it but I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog off here because I'm about to start my work day and I want to get this video up for you guys hopefully by like lunch early afternoon and I'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow so I hope you guys enjoyed spending a few little productive days with me and I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you next time bye